Hi there and welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to be looking at Plasphase AI Graphics Factory. This is uh, one of my favorite tools now and I've been using it a lot. Uh, the graphics that are generated, the images that are generated from this engine are out of the world. They're really beautiful. I really like the way it functions. So before we go into looking at how these images have been generated, let's look at what's there in this uh, platform. Now you may get access, you may have access to the old platform. I'll show that to you uh, sometime during this video. Uh, but there are some differences. This is fast. This is uh, very simple to use. I'm going to show that to you as well. So once you log in, you get access to your dashboard. Uh, you have the folders that you can create which are all here and these are the images so here's where you can see all the images that you've generated you can select your folder you can select show all where it will show images from all the folders that you've created I'll show you how to create the folders you can also filter by this let's see if uh, we can remember anything flower let's say filter should show me only the flowers yeah Okay, so that's a good one. Uh, now let's remove the filter. Next option on the left hand side is a create image. When you click on create image, you'll be able to see the dialogue. It's very, very minimalistic. But here's where you enter your prompt. You can also gender a prompt. You have all the image styles here. If you remember in the previous version of this software, uh, you were able to see all the uh, image styles as thumbnails so that is something that's going to come up very soon in this platform as well the uh, Jasper and team are working on it but for now I think this is uh, more than sufficient you can work with it so let's uh, see how to create images we'll try one with a prompt generator click on that um, what shall we uh, Huge blue moon. Let's let's see what it comes up with. I think I like this one. Big blue moon hanging over a city skyline. Let's try that. Okay, and let's choose an image style. We can go with realistic, surreal. Uh, for this, since it's a huge blue moon, I think I'm gonna go with surreal. And let's see what it comes up with. You can uh, choose from 256 by 256, 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024. Or you have the 1024 by 1792 which is uh, a portrait mode and uh, 1792 by 1024 which is a landscape mode so for this we'll go with square 1024 24 and let's generate I'm not gonna pause this one let's uh, show you how long it actually takes to generate uh, the images it doesn't take too long that was fast and I, I really like this image nice I'm still admiring it now if you start click on generate image again this image will disappear forever so if you don't want that to happen you have to save your image it takes a couple of seconds but you have to do it select a folder or you can create a new folder I have some folders here but I'm gonna create a new one let's say I'm gonna create a series of moon images so let's say moon and this one blue moon save image and this image though it will appear in the dashboard if you select all folders will actually be present in the blue uh, in the moon folder so let's try it again a big red moon let's go with red moon uh, hanging over okay let's try let's show you what happens if we click on prompt generator again we already have something here so remember let's see what happens like that nothing click it there we go closely related let's see oversized okay let's try this instead of blue moon let's try red moon let's make it different and instead of surreal let's try fantasy and generate image and let's see how long it takes shouldn't take very long Okay, this is 
really really nah, I, I it it is too artificial so let's go with Surya and check that again so let's generate once more now oops I just lost that image I didn't save it I lost it I cannot find it again so remember if you really like an image do not click on generate image save it and then do it now this also looks something like that it's too surreal so oversized because we said it's oversized anyway so i i could go on forever i could go on tweaking this trying to find the right image let's try something else let's go into my dashboard and see what kind of images i've generated and maybe we'll pick one of those and try another version of it so take a look at this image here splash art this is for uh, coloring pages now uh, coloring pages are a craze children love coloring pages and they want a different type of coloring page always and this is a very simple one so you could do something like this or let me show you an example these four images here this 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 okay now this one is a fantasy landscape and look at the font uh, the prompt fantasy landscape that's it that's it nothing else and it came up with this uh, version now it's nice but I really didn't like it now look at this one I changed the prompt it's a long prompt it's a long prompt look at how long it is it's very detailed it it actually tells the image generator what exactly you have in mind now don't imagine or don't think for a moment that I imagined all this and wrote it no I <laughs> wouldn't be able to do that I used chat GPT to help me come up with this description and you can do that too just go to chat GPT and say I want a prompt description or an image prompt description if you don't mention the word description chat GPT is gonna actually generate the image for you and uh, if you're not on the paid version you're gonna run out of your credits for the day very quickly so make sure you mention to chat GPT that you want a description of the image prompt and it'll give you something like this I entered this here and I, I don't know what uh, mode what style I chose but this is very nice look at it it's very nice so I could copy the prompt and reuse it look, so let's do that let's copy prompt okay let's go to create image let's change it into a landscape uh, picture let's choose um, photorealistic and let's choose the landscape which is this one and click generate image let's see what happens it's the same exact prompt the colors may be same similar but the image will be slightly different plus it's a landscape mode so let's see what happens okay so there we go similar image nice uh, lighting and flowers I, I I like this part of it the neon flowers the neon colors also nice you can change up anything you want in this prompt you can just change it up so I'm gonna save this again save it um, I have this in the tutorials folder let's name it fantasy landscape um, horizontal save image so my image is saved I can click on the dashboard and I can see that my image is here now let's see um, you can try different styles now this one I just tried a single prompt and tried it with different styles and these are the different variations I got uh, this one is a very simple prompt I just said a scary looking Medusa head but I could also look at this they have it created some text as well I didn't want any text but it created some text so uh, let's show you some more okay here are some more designs and look at this I like this I'll show you what uh, what are the cons of doing this but let's look at all these uh, different images beautiful ones right steampunk style this is uh, a baby lion style this is a model this is again a coloring page a different uh, prompt but let's look at this one check out the quality 
I also got uh, the prompt for this using ChatGPT just to make sure that I get all the elements merry little Christmas activity box that that is what I uh, entered into the prompt and I got it this way I don't mind the different colors in the font that that's okay because this is um, nice but then uh, you see that it also has blended in some letters T and M are blended in together on first look you may not find that but if you look closely you'd see that it has been blended in so uh, the working with text is not going to be um, very easy see for example the design is perfect I, this design has come out very nice but look at this there's a spelling mistake here christ so it made it chrstt so things like this will happen you have to be patient you can especially when working with text if you want to uh, generate some image with text in it let's look at some more images concept cars you can create images for your marketing purposes or if you are creating some storybooks okay you can have uh, beautiful images for stories uh, some superheroes or anything oh by the way if you want to create uh, recipe books you can create amazing images for your uh, recipe books and look at this this is a poster that was created in this let me show you show this to you there's a lot of text here which didn't come out proper so using any image cleanup software you can remove all this text which is not proper and just retain what you need and again look at this the me the e has been uh, combined with the M things like this will happen but you can try and overall I like the design it's quite busy but it's it's nice it's really nice it's very symmetrical or at least it looks so all right so that's it now let's take a look at uh, one prompt let's look at this one we're gonna click on reuse prompt let's see what happens click on reuse prompt we saw what happens when we use copy prompt let's use the reuse reuse prompt and it takes me directly to this window I don't have to click on create uh, copy prompt and go to create image and put it here so let's try this one realistically I just generated the image and we got this now if we since this is a tall glass let's actually use a tall format the tall format image actually looks good so that that's about creating images let's look at what else we have with oh by the way since I didn't save those two images those are not here unfortunately I forgot so remember again I'm reminding you if you need an image save it download it keep it now if you need support you can click on the support option and you can go and uh, raise a ticket Jasper and team will be there to help you out with your queries okay so we're back in the dashboard and let's um, uh, recap what we learned we can use images that we generate from here in your publications blogs websites ebooks or uh, any books for that matter any publication you can have them in your social media in your videos you can uh, create products digital products using these images and now let's just try one little one with a floral happy birthday let's actually try this prompt generator happy birthday okay generate prompts here we go let's try this let's go with realistic generate image I'm gonna pause and get back all right look at this happy Oh, there's a spelling mistake and that's that's what keeps happening so you have to keep trying until you get the right spelling the especially when it comes to text but you know how to do it all right so that's that's the overview of AI graphics factory by Plasby and I hope you enjoy using this whether it's this version or the previous version go ahead go in use the generative images and use them for your business personal commercial okay so with that said I'll take leave and I'll see you in the next video bye